the funding fundamental counting theorem and this may seem a little silly but counting sometimes is one of the more difficult things we do in mathematics so if you think about it if you've ever asked yourself well how many hairs are on my body or uh, how many stars are in the sky you know these are some pretty difficult questions to answer mathematically can be done uh, with some certain techniques but we'll start with something pretty easy so what you should do when you're first starting out with this is you should stop the video and try and solve this problem see if you can do it first and then watch me do it so in your closet you have five pairs of socks and three pairs of shoes how many different shoes and sock combinations are there so again stop the video see if you can figure it out and then I'll show you a couple things so I look at this two ways um, and typically this is how students that I teach look at it as well so if you start with the pairs of socks there's five pairs of socks do one more so there's my five socks maybe you have all different colors Okay, and then each of those has two pairs of shoes with it. So you could have two pairs of shoes with that sock, 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 and two pairs of shoes with that sock. So we would have five times two, or you count these up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the answer is ten different ways. So that's kind of visually how to represent it, and I've seen other ways of doing it. Um, one other thing I like to think of it as two slots to fill. So we can have five socks for the in this slot, and then two socks in this so, in this slot. So five times two equals ten. So that's another way of looking at it. Okay, how about debit cards? Debit cards require a four-digit passcode using any only numbers. How many combinations are possible? So here, again, stop the video, try to solve it. Here I like to just look at this as slots to fill. So we have a four-digit code and there are ten possibilities here and maybe you did nine possibilities because you're thinking one to nine but if you think about it it's zero to nine and if you count those zero to nine there are ten digits and then there are ten digits here and ten digits here because you could have a probably a zero 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 passcode and so that would be ten to the fourth power or ten thousand different passcodes for um, a debit card. Alright, so let's move on. Let's try a different one. Oh, hit the wrong button. So maybe something a little more complex. A website requires a password with six digits of numbers or letters. How many possible combinations are there? Again, stop the video and see what you can do. So this one's a little more complicated because you've got more symbols to deal with. I like to also look at this in the slot method. So there's six digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, or six characters. Maybe digits is a bad word to use there. But six characters. And in the first character, there would be 36 possibilities because there are 10 numbers and 26 letters. And then there are 36 here. 36 here, 36 here, 36 here, and 36 here. So you multiply all those together and there are 36 to the sixth power combinations, which is going to be a very huge number. And you can get your calculator out and find that. It, your calculator might even give it to you in scientific notation. It's so big. And here I use the Web 2.0 calculator and 36 to the sixth, so by typing 3, 6, then the y x or x y key and then 6 so 36 to the 6 is 2 billion 176 million 782 thousand 336 so quite a few 
uh, possibilities there. And finally, let's finish with the classic here. A science book, math book, history book, English book, and statistics book are to be arranged on a shelf. How many ways can they be arranged? So again, stop the video, see if you got this stuff figured out. So if you've noticed, we have five different books. So, so the and we're and we're going to have five different slots for those books. We're going to arrange them all. And so there's our five slots. And you just have to think in the first slot, how many books could I put there? Well, I could put five there. Now I've put a book there. So how many are left for the second slot? Four. Then how many for the third? Three, two, one. And so you multiply those out, and it's five times four times three times two times one. And so we'd have 20 times six, or there's 120 ways to arrange those books. And so the that brings us probably to the final thing that we'll talk about next, and that's a factorial. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 mathematically is represented as 5 exclamation point. So factorial, next video I'm going to do. Hope this helps. See you next time.